We're rolling. I feel like that meme where there's a little white girl and all those big black men around her who are going to be having sex with her later on. Yeah, but you're her. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use you. It's my dream. Don't you want to make it in show business in America? Uh, I just suppose I do, but I don't know that she's making it in show business in America. She made it. She's in a meme. She's more famous than any of us in this room. What's her name? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's not Piper Perry, is it? I, I wouldn't know. know. I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> but if it is, she's doing all right. Piper she's, would be an apt name. She's popular. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what they said they were going to do. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to Piper. <laughs> they follow through on their commitments in that business. Hey, so great to be here. Look at well, this is this is just how we would normally have a conversation. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Nice sitting between natural. the two big beds. This is how we watched the New York Knicks game earlier <laughs> with you between us, and you would look over there, and then I would come very close to the back of your neck and give it a little whiff. That's all I ask. Yeah. We did watch Man on Fire. We did. Yeah. Which I'd never seen before. Which the back half of Man on Fire. A man in flames. Dude, the edits on Man on Fire were... Too much. <laughs> a lot. 2004 <laughs> style, yeah. Frenetic. Very busy. Like a Prodigy music video. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> and I believe they played Prodigy at one point, that the Hispanics were dancing Probably. while he was shooting into the air. He and, did. And they didn't know it wasn't part of the song. So they kept <laughs> dancing because Denzel, I don't know what it is, but he got that rhythm. He couldn't shoot off beat. That's why they actually started putting gunshots into rap music, was to get away with clandestine kidnappings into club. <laughs> Gunshot says fast forward. <laughs> we're joined here today... By longtime fan of the pod, James McCann, everyone. A pleasure and a delight. Thank you for having me yeah. back in your hotel room. Glad to have you. Well, you took over one of our hotel rooms. You yes. annexed my room, so I had to come over here and sleep with Lund. Oh, it was an annexation that the people were very happy to facilitate. It was a sort <laughs> yeah. of an Austria situation rather than a Ukraine. <laughs> That's right. Well, but we I really Lund, appreciate We it. love sharing a room. Yeah, it's natural, more natural. For it gave us, us an easy out. Across from each other. Well, if yeah. any of you want to come and sleep in my room, your room tonight I, I would love the company and if we could all sleep in here together that's that would be my dream but well you're going to be out rocking and rolling late doing the secret truth. society Thank show you for getting me that late show I'll yeah be respectable oh i don't care all right i'll let it all get hey, trashed. loose <laughs> yeah. and then trashed. i'm going to uh i think i'm going to go back to bed and then catch the afternoon bus yeah you have the whole room to yourself tomorrow yeah you can probably have it till like 1 p.m oh i couldn't go to an art gallery you're and not going to do uh, that. You're going to get fucking smashed at the Secret Society show. Yeah. Then you're going to come ambling back with some young Ebony minx in, right. your, in your loo. It's good to know now that I have no free will and thus surrender to it yeah. in the evening to follow. What did you yeah. call a young Ebony minx? Uh, an Ebony minx. Oh, an Ebony minx. Yeah, yeah. Ebony. Ow. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to go black. It's a word that I won't and say. And you're never going to go back the, uh, to your family <laughs> in, in rural Ohio. I don't want to out where you live. Oh, no, Steubenville. I tell everyone, Steubenville, Ohio. I heard they changed the name when you got there to Stupidville. <laughs> it sounds ever so much like Stupidville already. <laughs> but it's not. It's a beautiful town, and there's a beautiful revitalization effort happening there. No, there's Many not. Many murals. <laughs> The downtown. They're bringing in foreign Catholics. Yes, they are. <laughs> and domestic, foreign and domestic oh, Catholics. Good. That's okay. what the FBI call. And uh, there's the, the Chesterton Cigar Bar, New Polities, a great magazine there. The Hi Hat. There, we've discussed it at great length, our dive by the hi hat. Is there anybody famous from Steubenville? One. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. You I know. Do. <laughs> uh, it's going to be it's my Dean Martin impression. It's really he good. He was just drunk for the back 30 years of his career. <laughs> he and they were all talking about it like it was. Well, it was admirable, you know? Like uh, back then, you get drunk, you hang out with a black guy and an Italian, <laughs> you know? I think he pretended to be Italian. Walla too. Habibi, baby. Walla Habibi, baby. You know, with Don Rickles as well. That was actually a very multicultural group for the time that yeah. was happening. They had a, mm -hmm. a Jews and Italians and yeah, a and a Jewish Jew. black. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Disabled black Jew. Well, I wouldn't say disabled just because he's black. He had one <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Check out disability. <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> I think and then Dean he'd Martin, start singing. <laughs> I think Dean Martin uh, drank apple juice for some of the. You think it was a put on later part of thing? his career? I th I'm pretty sure that I that's didn't know if it was true. A I watched his in anticipation of going to Steubenville. I watched the Christmas special he did with Frank Sinatra, and you know their kids are there, you know like their daughters and their children. And Dean Martin is 
fucking done. He's got mm-hmm. cigarettes, he's moving around like this. Dino, hey, it's great to be here. And then they, their daughters get up and leave the room, right, as a, at the end of that sketch. <laughs> and then the hot women come in and they're both, <laughs> no transition, but they're like, oh, this is some uh, Get out of here, kids. <laughs> it's time for dessert. Go get some more cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Don't you go f- remember to rip the filters off. <laughs> but it wasn't considered, I mean, America is very puritanical, I find, about drink to the extent that, you know, in certain what? places you can, Yes, you can even drink outside because it's such a non-drinking culture that you, you, you are happy to risk someone having a Bud Light and a ferry. You think that America is a non-drinking culture? I think you have a, uh, you have a shame about drunkenness. What? That, no, proportional. Just I mean, because you countries. guys down there all wear diapers so you can fucking get <laughs> pissed on 4X you, all the you time. Know full well, there's that English thing of the tarts and the harlots in the street and their little gowns just passed out. So, so drunk. That's a Japanese thing. Well, you've got to pay a lot of money in Japan to get a child to do that. But you don't have... (laughs) It's actually a lot more reasonable than you think. (laughs) The yen is down. It's all blurred. Which means I'm up. Hmm? Uh, No, it's not as as bad a drinking culture. Well, there's two... That's what you guys forget down there. You're from where? Adelaide. Adelaide, Australia, which is where we first met. Our courtship began. You have 20 million of you guys down there. Roughly, yeah. Yeah, so anything you guys do really doesn't count in the grand scheme of things. Well, it's a blip. Yeah, well, you guys don't matter. I think that's a very bad thing to say about roughly the same population of black America who, are, who do great things. It's roughly, they've got 30 million, we've got 25. Yeah, and what did they give us? little things, great things, great. What have they given you? They gave us rock and roll. Yeah. They gave us dance. Stand they gave us barbecue. Exactly. Yes. What have you guys given us? I come Yahoo from a land serious? down under. Yeah, exactly. Men at work. Uh, the Veronica's. Who were they? That's a, they had... Um, exactly. Untouched. Ba, 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 ba. You have Is to explain all of your references right, to us. No, Steve Irwin's a great man. He's dead. Well, he was, was tricked great, by the dumbest great, fish. Weak-willed. <laughs> yeah. If he wanted to live, he would have lived. It's hard because culturally we don't have... I mean, you don't know Dame Edna, the best Australian comedian. We know was, Dame Edna was a man you know who wore Dame, a dress. Yes. That's, yeah. that's a drag queen I can get behind. Yeah, exactly. So Dame Edna was great. Okay. Barry Humphreys recently also did. The Barry Humphreys? Yes. No idea. Oh, great Doesn't writer. count. Doesn't matter. Barry Humphreys' autobiography, More Please, is my favorite section in a book. When I think of Barry yeah, Humphrey, I say, less please. <laughs> this is a man. You, for a man who loves to read, you would love Barry Humphreys. Now, you were telling me about your... Uh, You, you absolutely have to cut that out. <laughs> so we will. Becker, make a note of that right there. No, let's, let's delete it now. <laughs> I'll delete it off the SD card. We would our, lose, our, our, we'd lose we six minutes of gold. Hates- we'd lose six minutes of awesome stuff about Barry Humphrey. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. What is that? 7.30. I'll remember. So the edit has been made. And we are... Well, see, here's the thing. James came in yesterday. Why don't you tell us about your day yesterday? I feel terrible I've got anything in my life that has to be edited out. You know, I'd like to be an open book. <laughs> Quit bringing it up. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's make but a clean the, edit. Uh, so yesterday you had a big day. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Well, tell us. Oh, yes. Well, I went to get a... Uh, <laughs> Look at you. A, You've turned pink. I You're ruddy-cheeked now. I went to go and get a rent-a-car. Yes. Uh, so that I could drive from uh, Steubenville, Ohio to here, Mary Cleveland, and they wouldn't take me. Mm-hmm. Um, which is good because I couldn't. I realized I, the insurance wasn't included in the quote, so I would. You be never going, get the insurance on a rental car. Well, I, I would have thought they wanted to protect their rent a car rather than just have my ability to pay for it later speculated as to. Right, they want you to ding it up so then they can charge you full price on that car. Yes, that so it's one of the grand schemes of American enterprise. Well, I'm glad to have been rescued from it by not having the credit card they wanted me to have. I had a debit card, and instead. also you don't have a social security number. I'm waiting on a social the one security you bought number. on the dark web ended up being <laughs> fake. right? <laughs> Why don't you uh, take Lund's? Lund's not using his. He no. lives off the grid. Social security number? Yeah. So we could share security. it. Can you do that? Like here? a Netflix no, account? I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. told it's very, very exclusive. It's an exclusive club that only about 80% of the country qualifies for. Oh, yeah. But you can still get a gun. At Walmart, you can buy a rifle. Here was a weird thing. The guns, you can get a gun less expensively than the toy gun. The gel blaster costs more than a rifle. Well, you get a gel blaster. It's very exclusive. You have to do Kill Tony. <laughs> That's where you get the gel blaster. <laughs> what did I do? 
Oh, I well, so I went to Pittsburgh. Someone gave me a lift to Pittsburgh, and then I spoke to a wonderful uh, homeless man for three hours. I thought he was going to jump me, but he didn't. We just had a great time. You made all the mistakes and, uh, of a foreigner on the bus. <laughs> well, yes, then I was... And the bus... I you thought, let them use your cell phone. You bought them he, beers. <laughs> man, a lot of people were trying to touch my cell phone yesterday. Yeah. Mobile, smartphone, telephone. It's because your screensavers... So so gorgeous. It's my boy. Exactly. Yeah, it's my yeah. sweet boy. Yeah. And uh, yes, then I was on the bus, and I feel, I don't know. He's he was going through a hard time, but it was a guy who was on speed and um, he sat next to me for the two and a half hour ride and told me about all the famous people he knew and some of the. I don't know that he said so many people were his blood uncle, Stone Cold Steve Austin's his uncle, <laughs> and uh, and and Chris Benoit was his uncle, and this was the one that got me. Is uh, Chris Benoit only? Killed his ch- child to send him to God, and you can't blame a man for that. And it's like, well, I, I, what do you say in response to this? And uh, <laughs> would you rather be living in Chris Benoit's compound in Atlanta or within the realm of heaven and paradise, immortal? Wait, do you know what Chris Benoit did? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do we, I we know? Heard about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It made the news down here. If it made it to you, we heard about it like three days beforehand. If only someone else had found out three days beforehand and could have stopped him engaging <laughs> well, in that Well, I think Eddie spring. Guerrero did know three days beforehand. No, wait, Eddie, did, no, Eddie Guerrero died. It was Chavo, Chavo then. Eddie Guerrero died first. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they still are looking for his killer. Eddie Guerrero was not killed. No, was it was, he? No, it was an inside job. His heart exploded. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, he's they would he's always, in the El Paso Sports Hall of Fame, Eddie Guerrero. Nice. Yeah. They would always talk about Eddie Guerrero's addiction with drugs, and then they'd be quite wishy-washy on what the drugs were. I think it was everything, man. Okay, Wrestlers just absolutely like rule. They're the cowboys of the West. Yeah, a lot of uh, pain pills. I think the cowboys were the cowboys uppers, of the West. Oh, Somas, sure. cocaine. Somas, yes. yeah. Do you guys ever get Somas Steroids. down there? Only in an Aldous Huxley novel. Oh, dude. Soma is the drug Soma's that spray real. people passive. No, it's okay. And you can get it over the counter in Mexico, and it is a muscle relaxer non-parallel. This is the bottom opener that the homosexuals use? No, no, is that's that uh, that's amyl nitrate. Amyl, amyl nitrate? Amyl nitrate. Don't look at me after you say... <laughs> 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 look straight ahead. <laughs> look in the camera. Chicka Chappies, having a good time. What a ribald afternoon this has been. <laughs> so you were trapped on the bus with a man named... That previous to the bus. Oh my God, I don't want to out him. Why? Well, I'm afraid of him. He should be. <laughs> Seven thirty. He listens. <laughs> We're not editing two things Seven, out of. I'll this. do it. Just because you live a shameful deviant lifestyle that 12. you don't want your. Well, many it's hard fans because I, I don't about. think he was doing well. And, uh, and you think our fans nice. are going to look up. Six six six. Yeah. Well, I gave him my Instagram, so he's following me on Instagram now. So if this does come out, he'll hear it. He'll be. And he's. Mo- I know he's motivated <laughs> travel wise, and he knows where I'm from. He's well, he's motivated. Gonna, yeah, he's gonna have to find someone else to borrow their phone to listen to this podcast. So I think. <laughs> oh, we're he okay. had many phones. He did. I wouldn't worry. They're giving out free phones at the bus station. <laughs> Greatest country in the world, man. What do they give out down there? Uh, xylophones. So you can call the wallabies from the from their their ding, nest. Ding ding ding! <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm hopping out. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy me! It's a great country. So much poverty, so much beautiful poverty. We call that the freedom to fail. Freedom yeah. and its consequences. Yeah. It's we don't sad. have the social safety net that you've uh, been coddled by your entire life. <laughs> it made you weak. Well, and it's it's a floor and a ceiling mm-hmm. because we also don't accelerate to greatness and we don't um, kill as many children. In schools, you but I'm have, not sure whose system is better. Well, you guys killed what? There was one shooting and you guys all bent over and let the PM fuck your freedom away? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's people not up Australia. have that as John Howard's one great thing, but I, I think it was the one blight. Yeah, I mean, I think that a free country has the right to arm itself. Well, that's not quite how the Second Amendment's worded. What is it? It's uh, It a, says, blow it up and blast it. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the it's like, come and take it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around, find out. Right. <laughs> Pull them uh, if you got them. I don't know that you could describe the current gun ownership in America as a well-regulated militia. No. Oh, well, no. They're going down to the Texas border to be a militia, it sounds like. Yeah. I'm, so we'll see what happens with that. Such a strange divide between things like when I look at the, my news sources of America, even now, and they're going like, there's a war happening on the border. Mm. You know, the, it's going to be a civil war. And then I, you know, just walking around in Cleveland, people just seem quite happy to sell their little coffee and smoke their little cigarettes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very, there's no air talking to people in normal society that a war's coming right i mean we've been on the the edge of a civil war it seems in this country since 
you know, 1950. As it should That's be. what they want us to believe. They want us to believe that we're all ready to fucking kill our neighbors and steal their teeth for the new currency. <laughs> but no, we're not. We're good. We're all good people. Nothing's wrong in this country. There's no <laughs> racism. Uh, everyone has money. Uh, people walk they, around the, the streets, they sing songs, they do dances. <laughs> this is the public good that PBS could serve, right? It's just, instead of having, you know, their Poofta Mafia nonsense, <laughs> they could come out. That's a Barry Humphreys line. He's a great writer. Poofta Mafia. Uh, they should just come out and go, America's fine. People are relaxed. Families. It's great. Well, yeah, that doesn't sell fucking nicotine no, pouches. But if, it's, if it's PBS, they don't have to sell anything. That should be what the state media takes as its responsibility rather than going... Thomas the Tank Engine was sucking and fucking all day long. And I think that the state media has negative connotations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you think I would describe the PBS network that shows state, us... PBS is a state media. Yeah, but it also shows us like Sesame Street and Zoom. Yes, that's your propaganda that you're shoving down the throats. What, of. teaching kids to read? Well, you think all propaganda is a man in a steel mill with grease smiling and raising their fists in the air? No, it's teaching children how to read. This is the most pernicious <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> I am a very antiquated <laughs> Catholic, and I think the printing press must be destroyed, gentlemen. <laughs> it's so funny that you're Catholic. <laughs> I mean, it's I love a, you, it's but it's odd, crazy, your belief system. There was a man last night who came up to me, and he had heard that I was a Catholic. Yeah. He said, you're a Catholic. I'm a Protestant. And I was like starting to launch into like, well, what about this and this? And he was like, ah. Oh. I just wanted to tell you that I'm thinking of converting to Catholicism. And I feel like a real asshole. And we had a drink and he's a nice guy and he's got my number. I feel safe with him having my number. <laughs> you blasted him with the Reformation. And I was he like, was... Sola Scriptura, where is it in the book? <laughs> I've got 99 problems for you right here, pal. And then you Burning grab your balls. is not one of them. You know, there's something I always wanted to ask you about. Do you think that we should get more like active in our anti-religious fervor should we start burning people who share the word of christ you mean on the pod no no i mean <laughs> like should stage? we gather up gas cans <laughs> oh, and, the state. and sticks yeah the state. Yeah. yeah no i wish that we would you know prosecute pedophiles more Pedophile regularly nice. and like yeah. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of people who are religious who aren't hurting anybody. But just the ones right. who are pedophiles, not the ones that liars accuse of things they didn't do. Kids get confused. A lot. <laughs> I've said it a, a lot. lot. Yeah. It's like a game of leapfrog. It's not necessarily a game of whoops, it's all sodomy, you know? Like, also, I don't think there's a bunch of kids who are like, man, I'm sick of having to sit here in Sunday school. I'm going to make up that I got rammed so I can get out of here, <laughs> go to the arcade. I think. I don't think there's a bunch maybe of Maybe this will be controversial. Liars. I think there are. No. Because you, you remember you are. remember the satanic panic Your in God the attic? is dead. You remember satanic panic in the attic? Well, he's not dead. He's merely Sleeping. very sick. That's a piece of graffiti that I've seen. He has AIDS. God is yeah, dead. from fucking all those God kids. Is to, no, please. Satanic panic in the attic. You know about in the 80s. Kids came out and very reliably ago. said, yeah. there were, there's Satan rituals and dungeons and the sex magic and it's that guy doing it. And then there's no dungeons, right. but there are convictions. There are people put away. Children love to lie. Right. But there was a lot of blood sugar. There wasn't a lot of sex magic. <laughs> huh? Red Hot Chili Peppers? Gosh, I hope that no sexual impropriety ever come out of... Allegations toward the Red Hot Chilies. I love them so much. Oh, I bet that they were. They had. They would have had so much intercourse. I think yeah. they were deeply Catholic. Hey, off stage. Bad, bad, hey, well, as in open to everybody. No, as in they were banging sixteen-year-olds. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <If laughs> At least on, they were sixteen. If only the problem the church had was right. men having sex with, with beautiful like sixteen-year-old <laughs> women, <laughs> girls, 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 I, which is not good, <laughs> but it would be a step forward. I think America would be willing to look the other way <laughs> if, like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers bagged like Sydney Sweeney when. She was a day under eighteen. I think they would build a fucking statue for old Keitas. Well, do you remember when David Bowie? They were coming for Bowie. Yeah, and no uh, one cared because the group and everyone, everyone was like, ah, "If I was fourteen, David Bowie was there. Mm -hmm. Goodness me, all the ladies." It's a different were time, yeah. And her life ended very badly, but I, I don't think that was necessarily to do with. You can't David put that Bowie's on Bowie. No, and no, I bet I he had a have... long wiggler too. You know you what think I mean? He had a big long penis. I don't think he had a big. I think he had a long. Oh, one. yeah. <laughs> Like, like those, like those country boys. A little Q-tip have... for your ears and mouth. Yeah, I reckon he just had the perfect. Imagine the hairstyles of his pubic glitter. You know what I bet about David Bowie's penis? Mm. I bet it didn't curve at all. I bet it was wow. a straight piston pipe <laughs> that birds could land on. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. You could use it to like Not measure a, a child's height. Not, Not a crow. crow. Not a big bird. No. Yeah. yeah. A little sparrow. Mm -hmm. Or like some starlings. Yeah. I bet there's a picture of his penis out there right now. I can't believe David Bowie went through those cocaine years and no one got a 
Penal snap. I bet it was sheathed mm. in some kind of silk pantaloon, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I bet he had a glove on a his glove. cock. Iggy yeah. Pop's penis, surely. There's Iggy Pop's penis. Yeah, but you know it's not big. The Iggy Pop's a cool. I bet Iggy Pop has a beautiful penis. I bet that he has a great mm. utilitarian penis, but I don't think that it's like a there's gaper. Some, there's some glass in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's covered in peanut butter and scars. <laughs> It Iggy. too has looked like that since he was twenty-two, and it's just never aged. Dude, I love the Ig Man. Heroin uh-huh. preserves people. Isn't Heroin that strange? addicts look terrible young and great when they're old. It's because they're all skinny. They are, and they're always walking around the city trying to find things to sell to the pawn shop. And you know, they're active. They get their eight hours sleep. Oh, they get more than eight. Yeah, <laughs> they're a bit gluttonous. They were like <laughs> old London today. Sleep. They get lots yeah. of sleep. God, How much I, heroin I did you do? Not, I could not wake <laughs> up. Jeez. Well, I got woken up by a housekeeper mm-hmm. coming in because. That's a that's a, a scam, isn't it? They they make the do not disturb sign come off yeah. every time you open or close the door mm-hmm. so that they can get get in here. They want to disturb you. Steal some stuff. Right. W- wash some towels so they can justify their paycheck. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. I was so happy when I came back and saw the clean towels. I thought I might have two showers before the show. Did they come in and make up your beds? Yeah. While you were gone? Well, no, they gave me more towels. I don't know if they're mad at the bed because I had stuff on the bed. You allowed was, them into the room? I had a big favor for one of you. I forgot to put up the thing. Yeah. Um, can I borrow a t-shirt for tonight? Yeah. Thank you. I, I'm out of clean You know shirts. you're going to be swimming in it from either one of us. I'm going to put on a jacket over the top and tuck it in. Okay. Because uh, you're going to be putting on a dressing gown. I'm a, I'm a double XL. You're a couple of... I'm double XL. That's you right, are? Man. Yeah. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> that sucks. Not good. <laughs> I wish I was more truncated like you. More mm-hmm. smushed. Well, you're a big and tall man. I know. Yeah. B and T. I went into. A, I bought a pair of big and tall pants in old Sweden, and I walked in, and they were very eager to serve. <laughs> because everyone there's so skinny, and they haven't sold. A they big, haven't sold one single pair. pair of large pants. They have the tall. Yeah. They got the yeah. tall flying off the shelves. Yeah. They when they when they shook out the pair of pants that I bought. They whipped it out and a bunch of dust Finally, and moths came out. a super trooper has come through the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you Farva? What's Farva? From the film Super Troopers. Oh, no, I was referring to the ABBA song. Oh, okay. I was talking about the American comedy classic. Wait, is Super Troopers? What? No, I'm thinking of Starship Troopers. I haven't seen Super Troopers. Starship Troopers. You're a big Starship Rules. Troopers, man. I used yeah. to yeah. jerk to that, man. <laughs> I committed the lonely sin to that fucking movie Did you over believe and over. that it was... Uh, did you understand the irony, or did you just think it was a cool movie? Back no, the back three back. minutes that I kept rewinding, I didn't really pick up the subtext and semiotics. A, I didn't know there was a sexual. The Denise hours. Richards is nude. No, I, I might have missed that part of it. There's a few. Her Funko pops are on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. Now. The dumpening is what we call it. The dumpening. <laughs> yes, and, and then I did the dampening <laughs> of my that T-shirt I kept on between my mattress and the bed springs. Get that under control. <laughs> <laughs> have you committed the sin of Onan in the room? I. Well, you know, the sin of Onan is, uh, I'm really trying to get on top of that. I'm trying to put it in biblical terms. It's very, I tell you, the hotel room presents uh, difficulties. It is. It's kind of like a, uh, it's between time and space. There's no rules. It's a liminal space. God can't see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. God can't see through these. Oh, it's one of the reasons I would really like to be traveling with people and be in the room with them because mm-hmm. I don't think I could masturbate in the room with another person. Mm-hmm. Lord knows I've Sam. never done that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Uh, oh, shame, 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 shame. A guy at the bar last night, a comic, uh, reminded me of that wonderful event. And I was like, yes, yes. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, did you know that he, you were? In he there? told me like the next day. Uh, He's like, I oh, jacked it, but you didn't know at the time. He was asleep. I was sleeping. Still, I mean, obviously, <laughs> he was asleep on the ground like a dog. My goodness, I had an air mattress. I put some food. You're in not his successful dish. enough to get Louis C.K. yet. <laughs> he would never tattle. I also tattled on myself. About it now I on tattled on myself. It was nothing wrong I or lurid. My, you tattled on yourself, and I, then you were tattling about it. Yeah, I tasted my own tater, and I tattled. Oh, no, I would never do that. <laughs> you, you tasted it. <laughs> I did. It. Uh, God, it's I would never, I would job. never, ever try my own load. No, I would. No, no, no. But isn't that like the whole sacrament thing, though? Is you're eating Jesus's load every day when you go to church? You no, know, that's not true. And that, frankly, I'll have you know, is one of the few offensive things you could ever say to me. Oh yeah. And don't, don't, I won't even, I shouldn't have even let you know, so that you'd not desecrate further. I'm going but to the, be the desecrating. Eucar- well, don't pu- broadcast it. I'm going to do it but on stage. I'll be like, that guy eats Jesus's not load mocked. or something. I don't understand. It's, well, do you want the theological response? It's cult every ritual. atom of the host uh-huh. is every atom of Christ. So you're going to eat the MC. You eat the entire body of Christ with the entire bread host. Okay. Thing. The huh. body of Christ. It is the body of Christ. It's all of Christ. You know what's in that body? Come. 
Uh, well, presumably. Wad. And blood. <laughs> mm-hmm. No blood. The blood's separate. That's yeah. Menses. But bone. Menses, yeah. Because didn't he have both? Wasn't he a herm? He was <laughs> made they? flesh. And yeah. so all the horrible things about our bodies, he had to suffer also. I don't know if they're in his risen body. So you're saying that JC also had boils on his thighs? He was a little wad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there, some people, cool if he was a little wad. <laughs> there is some tradition that he was incapable of illness. I don't know how I feel about that. He suffered what we said. This is, and this is why... Early Christians and people who had been in the, you know, the pa- the what is it, the pagan movement uh-huh. found it implausible, like it was impossible to think that the, the divine could be in something as ugly and fleshy and sweaty and farty and strange as the human body. And so they had this like this was yeah. What if he heresy, came back and he was like, I'm heresy. the son of God? I don't think people would well, line up to eat his <laughs> yes. body. Wouldn't we all be surprised by that? <laughs> Let yeah. me touch you and you'll be healed. Yeah. Like, no. Not on your I'm, head, though. <laughs> yeah, don't touch me yeah. at all. You, know? you have to heal people by honking them? I, like, wanna, I can only heal ladies. I don't want to spoil here. the story, but <laughs> okay. a lot of people felt this way about our Lord. Yeah. That uh, that he was making it up, and he was a strange dude as well. You just went Buddha Kai when you took your hat off. <laughs> You're full no, super sign. <laughs> the I want to get that SS three hair big down the back. Oh yeah, I'll pray for you. What's boys. that? SS three. Super Saiyan three. Oh, okay. I don't you know, know what? About Save it. your prayers. Hey, the Catholic wave, it's on. This atheist thing, that Dawkins thing, that's in the past. I'm hip. I'm on the hip new wave. You're in the, pa- you're in the lazy old silly past. I'm surfing for Satan. He's certainly surfing for you. Hunting where he may devour. Hey, man, guess what? I'm a little morsel. Eat me up, Satan. Come get me, Behemoth. You're welcome in. You know the name of this podcast He'll is make The Chubby Behemoth. Come true for you. Yes, but what is a behemoth? Behemoth is the land creature? No, a behemoth was a one of the... Uh, satanic thing? He was one of the lesser demons. He's like a Baphomet type. I, do, I don't study demonology very much. You don't read the cool part? You gotta so know, your, em- no, you you know just, your enemy. You just read the boring Satan part. Satan is real and we should be very afraid of him. I, uh, I say, come and get us. Wait, All three of us. No, hey. <laughs> come on. He's real. You don't. F- I don't fuck with Satan. This oh is where, shit! This Satan's is where, here. Oh, oh no! Come, come now. You're taking oh. advantage of where I'm sitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh no! He's here. Well, I'll pray that. Hold on. I'll I think pray that you get saved. I think Satan's under here. Hold on. Oh please! What a <laughs> silly. James, do you like rock and roll and oh, pussy? No. <laughs> oh. Answer. Yes, Satan. Do you like pussy and rock and roll? Hell of yeah. course. Cool. Then why are you wasting your time with all that gay god shit? <laughs> Sam, Come down here and get around, slurped. Come down here. Around lonely in a flesh prison. <laughs> Satan's cool. Turn away from him. Hold Think on. All the unhappiness in your life. Oh, yeah. I want to get chastised. Where about you? I'm going to go hang out with this guy with six tits. <laughs> Satan, can I see him? You can touch him. Whoa. <laughs> rock and roll forever. <laughs> Damn, dude. You know. David Bowie's down here. <laughs> and he's, and he's banging Dakota here. Fanny. <laughs> She's not dead. Oh, then who's this? <laughs> I, think, I think maybe you can conjure up no, a likeness. I, you know what? I'll pivot on rock and it's roll. Probably Jean Benet. Rock and roll is not worth <laughs> <laughs> Jean Benet's oh. in hell. <laughs> I kept saying that instead of Jean Baptiste recently. And I was really? <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, rock and roll. I'm against. Look, I've enjoyed some rock and roll. I'm. I think in my core and my spirit, I'm against. Rock and roll. Yeah. Because there comes a time when you've, you know, when you're sad and you're down, you've listened to a lot of the rock music mm-hmm. where it doesn't, it's unsophisticated. It right. can only get you to a certain place. It doesn't touch the parts of the soul that the music is meant to get yeah, it you to. It speaks to the animal. Yes. Yeah, but why, I mean, don't we have enough animal in us already that we shouldn't no. be talking to it? All we've been trying to do as humans for the last thousand years domesticate ourselves beyond pleasure. That's yes. all we're trying to do. No, what we need that to do is excellent. we need to get in the mud and we need to eat it like it's chocolate, baby. <laughs> I've you know, seen... Let me ask you this. All, what's, you've what's, seen poly people and how they look. There is I've something seen Polly about Shore. That. He looks great. <laughs> is that who you're talking about? That's Polly Shore. <laughs> I think so. Po- yeah. poly, polysexual. Polly Pocket. People in an open relationship look revolting. No, something no, wrong no. With that's not that, always. They could be bad PR. Mm, that's that's not true. The ones is who that? approach me in Lund? That's not I think true. That's a str- I think Sometimes I, they're hot. Oh, yeah. And it's everything you'd want. It would be tough to say no to the couple because even though there's a dude involved, he's hot. Yeah, no, it happens. You're saying that because we watched that Paul Rudd scene last night? Yeah. Our Idiot Brother brother (laughs) involves, and it would be the same thing where it's like, ah, I wish I could, you know? 
for me. I I don't think I could be oh, like, look, oh yeah, get, that, get down there. And I'm I'll, gay, I'll so I, we have a different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see that scene and I feel very differently. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I think get that, that get, <laughs> get off of me. I'm trying to get, get those hot tits out of here. <laughs> trying to bang this dude over here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, beat it, sister. <laughs> trying to copulate with the fellas. No, yeah, they're not all wearing Invader Zim hoodies. Yeah, and uh, popping each other's back acne. Uh, there's some, <laughs> there's some hot there's some hot poly stuff going on, and I'm I'm happy for them. I think it's not worth uh, the headaches because once you get into, are there any rules? Almost certainly there are. But then, isn't breaking that rule part of the fun? Probably. So it would be tough to nail where both couples are, or both side, both parts of the couple are uh, agreeing on these rules, yes. following them, and it works. I'm sure there's if only two couples someone that are doing had it. given us a set of rules that we could stick to. Well, that's the thing. It, you know, in a, in a situation where there's no taboos, you have to create your own. And that's why these poly people get so freaky deaky Dutch. Where do you think that yearning for a taboo comes from? Why should we yearn for a taboo? Because it feels good. Good to be bad. To, good to be good to break the taboo. To break the covenant. Hey. Oh you, well. Hey James, you're a busy man with uh, a bunch of kids. Too many. Because you hate condoms too, right? <laughs> I do. Where's that in the old book? You don't want to spend. You don't remember the go, go raw leave it in section. Yeah, it's like don't spill on the ground because the devil will take it and make a milkshake out of the it. The argument against <laughs> contraception is largely natural law rather than scriptural. But please, let's continue with this read. <laughs> you don't want to spend your whole day figuring out what to eat, going to the grocery store, it's true. waiting in long lines, oh my God. cooking, and doing dishes. No. Right? Waiting on a bread line. <laughs> <laughs> so what I need to do is become successful enough to have a valet. Uh, you do, yeah. You need a little like uh, chattel slave that you keep. <laughs> There in your compound in Steubenville. Yeah. Well, sure, yeah. Potato, potato. You know how you can help with this? Factor. <laughs> yes, that's right. All hail Factor. God smile upon Ooh. half man, half God Factor. Factor is the only deity that I pray to. Provider of food. They're from ready. The earth. And you don't have to pretend like you're eating his body. What do they do? What is this thing? We don't pretend. Well, they have a ready to eat meal delivery sends chef prepared, dietitian approved meals straight to your door, not gay to your door, which is <laughs> in the copy, which is crazy. <laughs> so this is yeah. Jenny Craig for fat people. It's not even it's for not weight people. loss. It's no, just, it's just healthy. Yeah. It's just ready to eat meal kits. Well, it's, you know, if you wake up and you hit the gym, when and I you, wake up, when yeah. I go to hit the gym, and Factor sends me a meal yeah. to eat that day. You, you got a whole day ahead of you. You don't want to worry about what do I want to eat. You know, what do I? What soups are in the cupboard? What am I gonna eat? What am I gonna eat? Soups what? in the cupboard. <laughs> what am I gonna eat? I'm num, hungry. Num, hungry. Num, factor, eat, factor, 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 factor. You need a spoon. <laughs> All you have to do is heat them up in the microwave, or as you guys call them, the electro radio kiln, <laughs> uh, or skillet for two minutes, which you guys call a stove. Uh, you guys call an opulent house dressing, the skillet over there, uh, and you've got yourself an awesome meal. Now look, I love Factor, and you know who eats the shit out of these motherfuckers? Old Dave T. My father, Duddy Dave, mm -hmm. that guy's hiking with his, uh, with his companions. He's going on long bike rides, and good God, does he need to have his energy up. Well, it's my yeah, dad. He's, he's the opposite. I'm surprised he doesn't want to have some of his day taken up with deciding what meal to eat. Well, my dad makes meals, and they're fucked, dude. Yeah. My dad's been making this, like, uh, he has this, like, uh, kind of like a tortilla that's, like, 40 calories, but it's huge. It's like a manhole cover. Uh -huh. And he makes pizzas out of them, but he puts, like, <laughs> blue cheese and sardines on the pizza. They're totally, they're riddles. They're more of a dare than they are a meal. He's and then he's like, like, hey, I'm going to, and then guess how much black pepper's on this pizza? Way too much. All of it. All the available <laughs> black pepper in Elbert County. You can't say that. Oh, I said it. Pepper. Black pepper in a dad's pizza dish. <laughs> so I love them. And also they do that juice thing too, which is really fucking the good. The juices are really, really tasty. Now me, when I'm at home, I'm a vegan. And Factor provides for me. All right. In Lund, you don't give a shit if you live or die. So you get the, plo the protein plus meals, right? <laughs> I can have maybe one or two a week. Yeah, before your foot explodes. Before, before my toe gets out. You need to avoid oh, no. gout. I know I we've been goofing around no, here. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's hot. King Henry. Uh, keto, right. vegan, vegetarian, calorie smart, protein plus meal options. If you're mourning the loss of a wife and you haven't processed it yet, Factor is perfect for you. <laughs> Get the way too many carbs option. Yeah, yeah. Get the uh, get the rum option. My dad just relapses. 
no matter what your goals are, Factor can help you get there. Thanks, Head Factor. to factormeals.com slash chubby50 and use code chubby50 to get 50% off. That's code chubby50 at factormeals.com slash chubby50 to get 50% off. Support the show. Get Factor. James, we're going to get you some Factor. Yeah, I think we'd enjoy Factor. I, I don't know so. if they deliver to my area, surely. Yeah, that war zone. Yes, the Midwest is young and restless. You think the rules only exist to be broken? Yeah. Why else are there no, rules? No, to, to obey? You, to guide you to obey? Hey, the only obey that I do is the giant Andre. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, Shepherd it was Fairy. Shepherd Fairy. Are we talking about the obey Which is what they've done into the, the church. Oh, is that yeah. Andre the Giant on the shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Well, see, you come to America, you learn stuff. That's a really great look. Because it, it's the Rowdy Roddy Piper sunglasses with the word obey from... Uh, do you know what I'm talking they about? Live. They live. They yeah, live. Yeah. And Andre the Giant. What a great... I didn't know that. Yeah, that was... We're uh, big Andre the Giant guys on this pod. All... I mean, he's a big guy. He so is. Yeah. Was he bigger than the big show? Yeah. yeah. I think he was 7'4". Yeah. Andre was the biggest. Uh, Ever. So good in The Princess overall. Bride. Yeah, yeah. He could he barely in a lot move. Of pain. He could barely move in oh, that really? film. He was yeah. in a lot of pain. Yeah. You know the scene where he catches the woman? Yeah. They had to put her on uh, oh. ropes because he couldn't physically lift her off the ground. All 120 pounds of Gee. her frail frame. I mean, my ears were in pain trying to understand that accent. All right. Move. That's such a good scene. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. That ah, that's really that should be that's a flawless picture. There's nothing I would change about that movie. Yeah, Some I people don't like it and it makes me mad because they why? they try to say this is what they say. Oh, I didn't watch it as a kid and it's a no, kid's movie. It's no. like no no no. It, I watched it as a kid and enjoyed it. Watch it as an adult, also enjoy it. Which is the hallmark of a great film. Yeah. It's for yeah, all. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's a classic. Yeah, I'm surprised when people reject it. As also, why were these fucking people looking than... for more from a fucking movie? I, I keep thinking of Steve Vanderplug, and I don't want to falsely I accuse. Can't quit but I understand of that people. There's some people are very enthusiastic about the Princess Bride and revulsion of them. Could same way I feel about polyamorous people having met some bad ones and then mm-hmm. casting the whole thing into <laughs> yeah, throw it all in pit. the trash. It's like no, no, I, no. I can see that about Princess Bride. It's perfect. I, here's another one. I hear people saying negative things about It's a Wonderful Life that mm-hmm. I never saw. They say it's like a, hokey or something. Right, it is hokey. It's, no, it's about <laughs> pain and life. <laughs> It's the darkest movie. Can I can I grab a zin, please? Yeah, for sure. It's the darkest, most beautiful film. I haven't seen I've it in a ever long time. Seen. It's for people who can't watch Death of a Salesman without having a night terror. <laughs> well, That's what it's for. I mean, thank you. Mm-hmm. It's a six mil. You Have you watched the, uh, the Death of a Salesman with? Uh, um, I've seen one with Kurt Angle. No. Yeah. yeah. Why are you Pittsburgh's joking? own. Yeah. He stepped what? out of wrestling, he got clean, and he went live doing uh, Death of a Salesman on Broadway. That's your fucking with me. <laughs> sure. That would be, I mean, he actually Welcome to the world man. of illusion. He would have been a very good It's bit. me, Satan. He, he been, yeah. <laughs> I've created a world of a dark matrix. I found out about the trick early on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Suck it. Suck it. Um, <laughs> suck it. That'd be suck funny. It. To hit, meet Satan. And suck you, it, Satan. Suck it, Satan. Then you hit him with a stone cold stunner. <laughs> and he turns to dust. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> What's that called? That's the suck it. Oh, it is the suck it. Crotch it chop. Cross. Yeah, it is the cross. cross Interesting. Ch- crotch chop. Yeah. And three in a row, right? It's not a cross. It's not a cross. An, an X, X is a cross. It's, it's, it's a cross. A Saint, no. Saint Paul? A cross isn't, or the horizontal bar of a cross isn't in the middle of the vertical axis. It's up above. Well, obviously, there's a funky 90s unless, skew. Like unless wearing a Jesus hat was like me and smushed, <laughs> then you could have the, the crossbar along well, the Well, there middle. is. So the X cross is, I think it's the Saint. I think it's Saint, it's Saint Peter or Paul. I'm very hung up. I like I Saint know. Vitus. But he was upside down, and that was done in an X. Because hmm. uh, he didn't want to be killed the same way as Christ. Wasn't burying was someone down. upside down, like, very... Wasn't that he was asking to be insult? degraded, so the whole world yeah. can kiss he didn't my want ass. Yeah. He wanted to do worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's <laughs> that was <dreadful>. Paul Lind. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know Jimmy Savile. Yeah, of course, uh, well, he big was, fan. He yeah. was buried on a slight uh, angle by the uh, on a cliff, I think, overlooking the ocean. Yeah, so that he'd be able to see the sea. Wow. Yes, I I'm think it's also pointing at a children's wanted. hospital. <laughs> <laughs> God. He was, yeah, he was a good man. Was a rough I'll one. go ahead and say it. I think he was bad. It was guy. a rough documentary, oh, especially yeah. because, like you were saying earlier, uh, so many, so many people. I think you were talking about David Bowie. Everybody loved him. Yeah. So he was, and he did a lot of good 
publicly, you know, like yeah. he was at those Pubically. children's hospitals and, and places f- under the guise of caring for underserved, you know, people. That's rough, man. Just fucking. That's why I'm worried about John Cena because he's all out wish. there just fucking granting make a wish. A lot of make a wish. And his only wish is that they, they die. Lock the doors. They, they, die, cage they die right after he leaves, yeah. you know, so they can't no say anything. No one with that amount of the testosterone F5. could be attracted to a child. He would That's have a to, very good point. He would have to fuck a woolly mammoth. It is always point. the fey and brittle. <laughs> yes. Who are the pedophiles? I've got a real pedo no, no. Spindly arms, big belly. Gacy. You know, Gacy. Yeah. Gacy was a wad. Mm-hmm. Dahmer was hot. He didn't like children. Dahmer wasn't hot. This whole Dahmer fucking retcon doesn't work hey, for me. He's rugged. <laughs> he's thin. He was thin. Does not mean hot. I know that in our perverted he got mindset, to come back home with him. Yeah, I got people to come back home with me. I often crashed at people's houses. Yeah, people let him in. Oh, you a stranger were doing the, all the time. You slept your way around <laughs> to find a bed for the night. For hundred percent, we yeah. shared a bed in our in our uh, in a house, a punk house, and our whole thing was like, we got to get out and get heads. So we don't have to sleep for the bed. I heard someone <laughs> told me that at a homeless shelter, but they, you know, you know, some sometimes women will just have sex with someone to have a place to stay. And I yeah, thought, I mean, <laughs> I think we've all we've all done that in our time, haven't we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were talking about the uh, our paramours before we met the loves of our lives, and you were saying that you had avoided like the short-haired subset for a while, and then I told you that I made a fucking meal of it. Hold on, I don't I don't remember this. You have to oh the, remember at oh, breakfast? yes yeah, uh, the, yeah. Uh, in the open mic uh, right. scene coming up, mm-hmm. and with the edgy alternate comedy thing, I yes with with a few exceptions, right? I did largely. I was sufficiently. Um, shy to not have made the mistake of fucking my way through comedy scenes oh i never banged comics but i'm saying that i did oh. gorge on the uh, the short-haired women oh yeah look they were all i mean a lot of the girls that i dated turned out to be lesbians shortly thereafter <laughs> they were lesbians well, before, before. Yeah, before for sure yeah and sometimes during mm-hmm. but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah on your birthday just uh, it's the joy of being a man boobed Creatures, you can please everybody. Come mm-hmm. in, feast upon <laughs> me. Bahamut, I, <laughs> yeah, the penis and the titty. I never, I never Bahamut. I wouldn't fuck. How about that? <laughs> Bahamin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're, we're doing it. Let them out. Um, <laughs> drop them. Uh, the show last night. Yeah. When you mentioned the the Cleveland woofing, mm-hmm. was it? You could not put those dogs back in the cage. No, no. They refused <laughs> to be in the kennel. I had to put them all down. <laughs> was, uh, yeah, you, you were a little stern with the woofers. Oh, yeah. You have to be. Yeah. Because they want that. They want they want to have their hand bit when they put it towards your mouth. I find this with people when they ask for a shoey in Australia, this part of the oh country that wants God. to be told to fuck off. Ugh. The shoey. That was the biggest issue with doing stand-up in Australia was how yep. much they demanded the shoey. If you say What's no, that? they will respect you more. Drinking out of a boot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember hearing about that. Yeah. What about... Uh, shit, that just reminded me of something. What? Oh, you told us about uh, when a comic often goes long. Sticky feet. They say they have sticky feet. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, like yeah. Th- I like that. Mm-hmm. I was like hearing slang that I don't know about. Dude, I loved it. When I heard sticky feet, I would, like, was laughing about it for a while. Yeah. I didn't know that was one of ours. Yeah, it's one of yours. That's great. That's yeah. Nice. Didn't nice. make it over yeah. here, of course. But... Oh, yeah. nothing. Other than Bluey, nothing will enter the culture. Is yet. Bluey one of yours? Of course. You do a joke about Bluey. Mm-hmm. What's your Bluey wow. game? Oh, I just say how when, when Sam and I were in Dublin and London, I lost my phone right away. And so for the whole trip, I was like a seven-year-old and Sam was my dad. Because every day before we left to go on our adventures, I'd have to be like, what time is it? Do I need a jacket today? Yeah. Let me watch Bluey on your phone. <laughs> and that is not a euphemism for porn. I want to watch that little blue fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's been doing well. I've done that a couple of times, two yeah. of the three shows. It's very humbling to have to be a child again. I'm Carlos in Steubenville. Yeah. And so I have to ask everyone for lifts and yeah. help. And, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, they've been very good about it. It's a wonderful community. Well, Americans love terrible. helping a charming foreigner. Yes. And you guys are the most charming because your accent is everyone's favorite. And it's far enough away that it's not, we don't have a big, uh, I think what's nice is we're not threatening to you because we don't have a geographically located diaspora. Right, yeah. But if there are a lot of Australians and they lived in, I don't know, um, uh, uh, Queens, people very soon would go, these fucking Australians. Yeah. They wouldn't sound like that, obviously. they We'd come Man. up with something mean. Yeah, we'd come up with There's something. Not a, you don't even have a slur for us. Right, and you guys don't work that hard. You're not stealing our jobs. We'd love a slur. Yeah, you know you guys do. 
Yeah, I heard. We've been I giving heard the slurs to everyone else just so someone will give one to the white Australian. Well, yeah, we call you zonkers. No, yeah, what zonkers. No, you've made that up. No, <laughs> Satan, I once haven't again, heard it. But... Ugly hit. <laughs> no, I would never live in a Get world of deception. <laughs> you'd love to have Satan behind you. Pounding away while fish hooking you. <laughs> he already is, and yeah. my duty is to endure that until mm. I get to die. So do you fear that Satan's going to come for you? Satan is coming for me all the time. Isn't that a bit narcissistic? To He's think coming. that Satan, the Lord of Lies, is after yes. you, James, in your secondhand sweater? Well, uh, in the... I mean, it's sort of comforting to think that the Dark Lord is uh, pursuing everybody equally. Yeah. Because that's a reflection of the fact that God loves us all, and he wants us all to live in him. Get off of me. Get off of me, you false prophet. <laughs> Priest fucked me. I am. <laughs> you apostate. Well, you're probably a hot kid. You think I'm lying? <laughs> you're probably a really beautiful, sensual child, and you should have dressed so uncharitably. He did. I, he had frosted tips. I came up against a pedophile priest when I was in high school. He didn't touch me. That's going to make touched, you feel unwanted. He touched others. No, <laughs> yeah. I felt lucky. And I didn't. I yeah, was right. dating a girl who went to that church. I didn't go to that church. But when I was dating this uh, young woman, I went on... Uh, a, a retreat, you know, a, a couple days of, of get together and it involved a one-on-one -on -one, like talk with this guy and he was creepy and old and I just kind of, yeah. you know, said I I went to a church with my mom and like liked that church or whatever. So I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to like come over here to, to the Catholic church just yet, you know, but I'm real happy with Lisa and, you know, <laughs> and then I found out later that a, a guy I went to high school with was one of his victims. It was awful. Oh, well, look, I'm sorry for making light of it. I had a manic episode and one of, yes, he one did. of the big, Sam, yeah, Sam knew about <laughs> I was there. He was well, climbing trees like a panda. One of the big things was like, <laughs> he was like a drop I, wanted, I wanted justice for, I wanted yeah. justice for these victims because yeah. it, I mean, it certainly happened. A lot, yes. and and maybe some of it was made up, but no, no, no. So there's much a, of it there's was a real, real problem. It's so awful. Yeah, and 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 obviously it wouldn't have just you know it's not like I just have it out for the the Catholic offenders. I wish. Oh they no, all I want could those Methodists rounded those up. Methodist yeah, I'm not to be executed. Also. Yeah, I'm at war with capital G God, and not even all just the religious ones. Those uh, you know regular old pedos we had we had something some plan. Oh, the unregulated pedos are the worst. Instead of just yeah. putting them all, you know putting them in a yeah. box where they get you know just fucked and killed. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know that that's the answer either, right? I mean, I don't know that. That's not. Are. That's not getting well, rid of them. I, I had this. Uh, it's not eliminating the problem. When, when I was dealing with drug addicts and schizophrenics face to face on the bus, I had uh, maybe the more, I don't know, warm, tender-hearted version of that, which is: can we lock? Can we lock these people up somewhere nice? Somewhere nice. Can we? Can we get them in a reasonable bed or mm. something? And I, that's I tried to find be. a monastery. For this man in Pittsburgh, and they weren't taking anybody because it's all just been outsourced to awful homeless shelters. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. Can I say, this is something he told me. I told you before. But he said this. He's telling. He said, I don't want to go back there. These guys come in at the end of the day. They stink so bad. Then they put on cologne. <laughs> That's two smells. <laughs> it's not how you meant to do it. <laughs> yeah, I was really. Yeah, yeah cologne's goes, not supposed to be a throw rug you used to cover up a oh. spot on the floor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's. Uh, I mean, you see, you see, you feel in America a lot because I mean, both criminals and people who need help, and they're either so hopelessly locked away, or not. Just I want that tender, tender middle locked away. Yeah, God forbid we have a little, help people. yeah, a little, a little sensible, compassion, empathy, yeah. and and you know, people act like uh, throwing money at the issue is coddling, or it would increase. And it's like, no, no, no. no. It would, you know, most people well, don't want to be in that situation. They want more freedom than that. Living in a group home is better than being on the streets, but it, it comes with its own problems and headaches. So they. If they have that as the base, you know, the foundation, then they're more likely to get out of there than if they're continued. It's, you know, it's the whole hierarchy of needs. Yeah. Having shelter allows you to then pursue a little higher up the pyramid mm -hmm. of yeah. old Maslow. That's true. You know, you yeah. majored in Maslow over there at UNR. I studied under Dr. Maslow's uh, granddaughter. Zoe, Zoe Maslow, <laughs> Zoe Maz. <laughs> but I, can't, I, can't, I mean, you can throw money at it, but there, you get a diminishing return eventually. It has to be love. It has to be you, well, loving the, and helping people. And you have to teach them how to love themselves. Honestly, or that's you, the answer. Yeah, but sometimes people love themselves a little too much. <laughs> yeah, I know. You were loving yourself in that hotel room. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> there wasn't another person in the room other than our lord. <laughs> He's everywhere. On and well, the issue with pedophilia is not only that it's the most horrific crime, but everyone agrees that it is revolting. So no one cares. It's uh, no one cares if they oh. can figure out how to get better. You want them included in the plus? 
I do not want them. I do not. I think I totally agree that to uh, to commit that crime against any child, yes. uh, anyone vulnerable, but especially a child, to misuse the trust of that is repugnant. And uh, it's so abhorrent that like people just totally write them off. And I'm also in that camp. That's yeah. the issue. Is I don't have any empathy. For, we need to, uh, we need to give we need to give them a nice uh, neighborhood, not not the most posh area in town. We, we need to know where a, it is. A, a, yeah, a nice yeah. a nice neighborhood. <laughs> they have trackers in them where they yeah. have they have child sized dolls and no, come in the future robots. Yeah, I don't that, believe in these child cum extraction oh, machines it's, it's that you're <laughs> planning on designing. Hey, hey, you can't beat it out <laughs> of them. I don't them. think. So. That's the name. We're not going to go with no, child no. Love extracting you can't, machines. You can't beat it out of them, and they can't beat it out of themselves mm -hmm. solitarily with a robot. Oh, yeah. Well, I no, so we that, should, that would be the compromise. Allow them to be aspirational. Chastity is achievable for all people. No, it's Chastity not. is achievable. We're animals. For all people. I mean, I've achieved we chastity. Are animals. It's a beautiful thing. Not anymore. Your precious <laughs> Satan, he's in favor of the child sex. I'll tell you that. He doesn't just draw the line true. there. I don't what, think that's true. I don't think Satan likes exploiting like, the vulnerable. All, oh, yes, Satan really cares for I think the vulnerable. He draws lines. to look after them. Oh, sure. Well, I mean, what? There's not a lot of Satan room for him in the Satan church. <laughs> Satan the church of the Satan kid. doesn't open arms to pedophiles in skirts and blouses. I think it shows that they should return to their roots. You they need a reformation in the satanic church and yeah, get back need to the one true Satanism. Satan bought pool tables for the kids, skee-ball. He lets them have a good time. He lets them smoke every now and then. <laughs> you know, He lets them smoke on purpose to build trust so they yeah. won't tell their parents all the secrets. Mm. I don't think Satan's fucking any kids. He's busy. He can fuck adult monsters. I think he can fuck Pol Pot if he wants to. <laughs> well, Pol Pot obviously gets to go to heaven. Yeah. He was down trying there. to build a non-bespectacled world. What a beautiful thing that would be. <laughs> was he? He wanted to eradicate glasses? He killed people with glasses. <laughs> Did you not know this? Because glasses were a sign that you were intellectual. Okay. And he wanted to destroy the intellectuals and have just a Even if you were class. just like a cross-eyed guy named Augie? Whoa. They did not describe this. why the killing fields are so bad. They would just come to the town. If you got glasses, bang, Oof. you're in the field. Guess what did I you not know do? this about Pop Pot? I would take my glasses off and I would put them behind my back. <laughs> and I would say, hello, Mr. Pop Pot. I can see. I can see very He's good. He's not a bad Cambodian. No, I do. I see good. I do see good. Mm -hmm. When I veer into... They're, <laughs> they're not literate. Well, I don't want to seem smart. I'd say, me see good. <laughs> me see real good, pop up. I'd call him pop up. Yeah, how dumb is that? <laughs> it, you, think, <laughs> you think that everyone who has glasses got them from uh, reading too much? Yeah, they came with I'm your not, degree. Not, I know, and I know. Yeah, they were graduation presents. But there was, That's man, a, there was a picture <laughs> in the office thinking. to get my visa in uh, Auckland, but it was an American office, yeah. and all these things, and one of the big signs was, no glasses in the pictures. And then they had a picture of a guy who looked Cambodian mm. in the anti-glasses <laughs> pose. But I couldn't take a picture because I didn't want to fuck with my visa and be like, oh, look at me. Right. I wanted to be very well behaved. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was dead funny. It is yeah. very funny. Why is he Cambodian? <laughs> oh, because America opens yeah. its doors. You get the government you deserve. <laughs> 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 but, oh, them people should raise up. <laughs> know something about him. Yeah. Pull up. A pull up. Oh, I've been getting into Thai. <laughs> a pull up. Do you know Thai rock and roll? Get a the pull up into my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Wang bang boogie, let the love in start. You take I the glasses off of your head. <laughs> you get a live, you won't wind up dead. Yeah. In a grave. Do not rave. <laughs> do not see. You're a slave. <laughs> 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 Raining blood. <laughs> yeah, dude. You like Sepultura? I don't know Sepultura. You got to get into Sepultura. You're American now. What's Sepultura? <laughs> They're a Brazilian uh, speed metal band. Okay. Yeah. They're good. I've had enough of speed and metal after being on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> you were trapped in a speeding metal well, tube. Was next to a man who was on speed. And I told you not to ride the bus. I didn't have a choice. Well, I know, but like you said, they could take the train or the bus. It's like I will be catching the bus the home. Amtrak. I thought about it, and I'd like to sleep in, so I'll take the bus again. You're gonna take the bus. I'm gonna take the it's bus. Only a two hour ride. And I'm gonna try and do that American. You're gonna proselytize that middle on class, that bus. Upper. Well, I proselytized on the bus to that speed, man. Mm -hmm. A little bit, not enough. But um, he wasn't really listening. But that I want to do that Ameri white American thing of no, you can't sit here. Excuse me, it's mine. Sorry. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. That's good. Put your bag, yeah. Put your bag in the seat next to you. Go say, to your seat. Say your buddy's coming. My buddy Hank is on his way. He'll be here any minute. My friend Hank is uh, approaching. I'm saving a seat for my buddy Tom Hank. Hank. Hank Thanks. Tom. <laughs> T Hanks. No, no, no. Yeah, don't say that, or yeah. else they'll want to meet him. Be like, I don't want to tell Hank. you who it is, but let's just say 
empty. He's been cast away. <laughs> Let's say he's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say his son is the coolest rapper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you that you should wear big headphones because then they won't bother you. I'm going you. to wear my headphones even yeah. if I don't have the connector to put them in my, because my telephone right now. I think 80% of yeah. the people on that bus play by prison rules. So they walk yeah. in, they try and find who's the weakest, and then they exploit them for their minutes on their phone. It was my two and a half hours in the Aryan Brotherhood. <laughs> That's right, dude. Yeah, you didn't have to get the swastika tap, but I appreciate you committing to the bit. <laughs> did you see? Did you go to New Zealand or did you just send New one? Zealand. Is this a, bit a New Zealand? <laughs> no, I did not. I don't know why I have that song in my head. Uh, lots of Maoris Paul have Paul. the... In Maoris and gangs, mm-hmm. sometimes get the swastika. So you see quite a lot of swastikas on... Uh, Pacifica. Because it's just the most badass it sign. Makes people afraid. Yeah, that's why I have Calvin peeing on Samoa tattooed on my back. <laughs> <laughs> to let him know that I'm with the movement. No, that to me would be the scariest tattoo to have. Oh, yeah, because... If you, a Samoan sort, they would... Uh, they would rip it off my back and then oh, they'd eat no, it. Oh, no. I don't like that. Oh, no. I can't do Samoan. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. 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 Ooh, ah, yeah. <laughs> I just start talking like the Earth, <laughs> like Mondo. Moana. Where are we at on this? I have to. We have to do an ad read at some point. Oh, we should do the ad read. We will, but I don't have it. My phone's recording. Hey, if I open my legs, light comes out. Isn't that cool? Whoa! Look, you have the light of the Lord inside of you, bro. The sun is shining out of my ass. Wow. Oh, now I do. I will say this: we've had a lot of fun with your belief system, but you being in America means that we accept and appreciate. Your uh, antiquated SOS. Yeah. You do. <laughs> yeah. You do. Yeah. Yeah, you really do. It's um We the, accept the all the strippers man. backstage at Kill Tony were really someone said this guy's a conservative Catholic and they yeah. were like, That's so good. I right. thought this is a different culture. Yeah. Strippers back in, in my country when people tell them that Well yeah, because they don't they, they don't speak English. <laughs> they wouldn't know what you mean. Me too. Yeah, they're all from Myanmar. Yes, there's uh you know what you don't have as much is the Asian. hand job parlors on the street, the Asian uh no, we don't. A penal masseuse. No, but you know what? If you walk through most alleyways in any major city, you'll see a sign I'm sure there up on a. You'll see like a hand. I don't need to know. Crafted sign up on a telephone pole that'll say massage, and it's a phone number. Well, for a good time call. I don't like a hand job, so I've never a been. Hand job, hand job, do be hand job. You get put the lotion car. into your palm. palm. You pay 20 bucks and won't take too long. Great. She spits on her other hand. hand. She's doing double duty and it makes you a man. Another guy <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Do not worry. He's coming to <laughs> pull pot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. after hand you were going to be with, um, <laughs> you can't finish so she rubs it in the mammary gland. Oh, hey, yeah. yeah. all right. Yeah. I like like that nice, too. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I was. I love memory. Glam. I kind of got selfish there, but I don't wanted to finish no, no, you the couple. Right? When you went with the bomb, what did you say? You, I, you said palm. And palm. I, I was worried for you Put for having a, into your palm. a palm <laughs> rhyme. I had no idea where you could possibly go. <laughs> I thought this man's painted himself into a corner. Well, tomorrow's hey, Palm little, Sunday, and you're gonna have the room too. by yourself. It hasn't even it's been lent yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let me read this real quick. Okay, I think we have two this week. I got one. You know, our listenership has gone up 61% in the last 30 days. No. Yeah. It's about to come right it's back to down go, with me. It's no about to way. Go way down People low. love James. They were stoked last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. were a pleasant yeah. surprise for I several, to several fans. I'm going to make a moment of sincerity in this. You, you're very funny. And I think that any listener out there would be lucky to have you, you at their comedy mine, show. Oh, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you smoked Lund. <laughs> I, uh... Lund came out and was like, Oi, Crikey, who was that guy? <laughs> Shane does it a lot. Shane of course. Comes out, does a lot of yeah, fuzzy yeah. gear off the top. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and it's nice to be able to do that. I Look, I appreciate that. You've Actually, you gave me a lot of help today with gigs I can... Reach out to I'm uh, I'll do, I'll look I'll do I just I'll do an ad for myself I'm unemployed in America and I have no money so uh, classic immigrant story happy to do comedy came over here work. begging to get on the dole with his three kids with his can't even get <laughs> half no white wife yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry James Donald Forbes McCann catamaran plan yeah listen so I can feed my fam and you're selling merch on there right I'm about to launch the merch yeah mystery merch I'm excited about that you told me a bunch of great ideas for what you're gonna ship out. Couple of beans, uh-huh. <laughs> a saucepan, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, sock. Whoa! You put that bar. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in a jar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like bathwater. Lund, 
So yeah, James McCann. You can find him online. Yeah, do you want to plug your socials? At JDF McCann, James Donald Forbes McCann, Catamaran Plan, James Donald Forbes McCann, Catamaran Plan. Out now, all digital platforms. <laughs> that the, whole thing. All right. <laughs> Easy good to luck. find. Good, good luck. It's good for him. SEO because you have to type in twelve words, <laughs> and one of them is a word we don't have here, so that's good. Catamaran Forbes. Oh yeah. yeah. You got Scots, don't you? Yeah. Oh, listen oh, to that. No, they're here for you. Finally, the police of Cleveland doing something. Yeah. Well, I, you don't want to know what the police of Cleveland are typically doing. I'm told that they're very racially violent. Oh, God. Yeah. They murder. Get them down the club. What? Not to, to murder on stage. To kill. No, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Right. James, shut up <laughs> so I can read this. Let me now, tell you about Beyond Blue. I don't know if I agree with this, but it says going number two isn't always the greatest. What? It's true. Sometimes I go to sometimes, a restroom and it's a non-restful it's experience. Sometimes you're on the bus. Yeah. There's a guy on speed knocking <laughs> on the door. Now, James, you were telling us that you had some uh, kind of insight on the American <laughs> no, toilet system. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call the government. Yeah, no, I love nice. the government. I love this country. <laughs> I love going number two. I told James in the hallway because he said that he had to go, uh, what do you say, take the, the Duke to the ball? I don't know. Take a shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I was saying that it's one of the few pleasures that everyone's allowed. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess sometimes it's not its not always literally the greatest. Overall, mm-hmm. someone with a colostomy cool. bag listening right now going, yeah. but it's, oh, hell. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. not always the greatest. No, what, what maybe, sucks is wiping. Yeah, that's Only right. Well, maybe maybe you, and, or, you know, or maybe you've had some Taco Bell with a little too much fire sauce. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever the situation. I like my hot sauce with a side of burrito, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Well, and then you pray for it. Okay. okay. And then you're praying to Satan. To take the pain away. Don't pray to Satan. You don't have to beg to him like you do Yahweh. <laughs> I'll be good. He just helps. But uh, whatever the situation, the Tushy Bidet is going to save your ass. It gives you a fresh stream of water, the same water that's in your sink or shower, to clean up your butt after you go. Thank God it's not just a fucking poisonous groundwater. It's not the sewer. <laughs> yeah. no, it's not going from the sewer. It's not brown water You're going into your brown You're not getting your neighbor's hole. dirty diaper rash. <laughs> yeah. Tushy Bidet. Blast it not into your Not just for the gay. <laughs> no. Get it in your asshole. Today. That's good, yeah. Do it to the camera. Yeah, we're what are you? Uh, quit. Uh, we're doing a video uh, podcast. No, 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 That's no, why no. we're <laughs> up and at him. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm <laughs> barely <not> visible. <laughs> well, my I started getting uh, sick of sitting up. My legs were getting tired. They were getting, <laughs> sitting they were getting up? sleepy. I was cutting off circulation because of my big belly. <laughs> what a world is underneath God, that blanket. This country <laughs> is <appalling. laughs> I have had... <laughs> I have had several great experiences with the Tushy Bidet, including at your new pad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, your unlisted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your unlisted off well, the grid. Not. Shut uh, up. <laughs> uh, compound. Two edits now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is great. Uh, it saves you uh, from using a bunch of toilet paper every time. You don't have to get as many butt wipes involved. The only issue is you don't get to eat the TP as you're going for <laughs> That's, it. Well, no, you have more TP to eat. Oh, good point. Yeah, exactly. Did you ever eat toilet paper? Not use toilet paper, but did you ever munch any toilet paper when not you were a child? No, no, no. No, but as a when boy? When you were a kid. Oh, I don't remember you anything from my childhood. Giraffe. All the ripes. <laughs> Good call. It's crazy that you have, to back. Ju- you have to get jumped into the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get fucked in or fight in. The Tushy Bidet has been a revolution in our home. Oh, We're fighting over the downstairs toilet now. My wife and I. Middle Eastern toilets, Middle Eastern politics. That's right. Yeah, well, she is from Dearborn. But we... Uh, <laughs> also, Emmy has been fucking posting today. Yeah. Have you seen her stories? No. She has chosen a side in Israel-Palestine. Well, given the haircut and the age, I'm guessing it's Palestine. Hey, she is a doctor, though. She goes against you because she believes in science, not witchcraft she and goes magic. a lot of good things. I liked her <laughs> so much. I know. She likes you a lot, too. Yeah, we really She's get along. Great. We had a nice time together. It was such a, just a, that night really cemented, I want to be friends with this guy. This guy's a well, blast. You did that bread chunk? Your bread jokes were amazing. In America, I'm struggling to make it work because you don't have the same bread. Uh, I'm, I can't, I've got to change that. I do have to change the words because $6 bread. The prices are different and also all the bread sucks. Well, here's the thing. You know what you don't have to stress is... Oh, my asshole. When yeah. I'm it spread it's up. pissing me off because you already did. <laughs> Not only will you feel way cleaner throughout the day, thanks to Tushy, but they're going to save you some serious money, Sam. A dinero. A typical Tushy user goes through 75% less toilet paper on average. And God knows that most of my budget is toilet paper. Yeah, you're going to have rent money again. You're not going to be paying on the 7th. 
and pissing off the property management. You're going to be uh, on the right side of history. Just replete with TP. And yeah, it's great for your wallet and the environment. You're saving uh, trees from uh, being turned into butt wipes. And every Tushy Bidet comes with a 30-day hassle-free return and a 12-month warranty. Warranty. <laughs> And hey, you know the easiest way to get a Tushy a Bidet warranty. is warranty. to have a Warranty's very best. successful podcast. They just send them to you for Christmas. Yeah, it's the best. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get home and sit on the toilet all day and night. Until my feet go numb as if I have <laughs> some kind of neuropic nerd pain. Hey, I can't wait. I'm excited. I can't to wait to go on the own. toilet as soon as we're done. Yeah. Dibs. I'm, I'm going to go in our room. I'm good. But my toilet, let me say I this. Want to sit on you all, all day, all day, <laughs> all day. And, and all of and night. never have That's to right. wipe. <laughs> oh, because oh. a tushy works out the kinks. Yeah, get oh. that get that fresh out of the shower feeling at hellotushy.com. For a limited time, Chubby Behemoth listeners get ten percent off your entire order when you use the code Chubby at checkout. That's ten percent off your order at h e l l o t u s h y dot com with promo code Chubby. It's time to back that ass up with confidence. Did they put that in there? Yeah. You did just freestyle that? I did not freestyle that. Do we have another one? We are I don't think so. I think we, we have one. another one. I think we have a secret another one. I'll check after this. But hey, you know what you do have to check? You have to check out our Patreon, everyone. Patreon.com uh. slash Chubby Behemoth gives you so much value for your $5 investment. And then if you want to get even further into the Chubbosphere, don't. 20 bucks a month, Lund will send you something in the mail. I actually won't. Yes, you will. <laughs> Yes, you will. No, I'm over it, so we're going to get rid of that, so don't sign we up for can't, it. We uh, can't. We literally can and will. We we're almost at 1,000 Patreon Ooh. subscribers, which is really cool. It's, it's really great. It's been neat to have, you know, I remember back in the day when we had like 12, mm -hmm. and it was like, what are we doing? Maybe we should join the military. Right, And yeah. now... I'm going to get my teaching degree. Uncle Sam can suck my ass because <laughs> we are almost to the big time. That's right. I love that veterans. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see the big time, you want to see me do a new exciting 45 to 50 about uh it's 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 not for everyone uh two women last night i was told I saw that. yeah they, they one of them said i didn't sign up for this what it, when abortion how game. long into the set during about 12 minutes in when i launched into the abortion chunk uh which is i aborted the shot rightfully named yeah um did they leave yeah they left oh, they walked out yeah <laughs> and you heard them someone told me after the show oh, okay some kid you came were... up and he's like i loved it you were unaware Sam T. You you're walking bitches row, 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 row. they were barking like dogs dog people hey look if you're <laughs> the out dog there people. if you come to the show maybe come to a show in west nyack or at uh magoobies or at uh desert ridge improv in phoenix uh vancouver Maybe Bloomington, if they'll give me more money. Uh, come out to those shows, everyone. SamTalent.com's got all the tickets. James, will you be begging stage time for many of your allies? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm opening for Matt McCusker, I think, in Nashville and Hell Pittsburgh. Yeah. That rules. He's a great man. And I'm so great man. One of the best hangs I've ever Dude, hung. Dude, McCusker is yeah, he's the, the best. Man. And the new comedy's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, buy James's book. Buy my book, Sam Talent. Wrote a book. Uh, Nathan. Where's your book? Where's your book? No book. Uh, read 1984 by George Orwell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he was anti-condom? There is another one. Anti-condom? Yeah, he has a great book called Keep the Aspidistra Flying, which is uh, more or less a whole novel about how awful condoms are. Really? Yeah. What's Aspidistra? It's a kind of plant popular with the British working classes that the author who's a poet, well, sorry, the, the main character is a poet and he just fucking hates people and they're small-minded stupid aspidist well 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 or well 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 i do want to say this here at cherry behemoth we validate all belief systems and we're very glad to be able to have this <laughs> Not open all and of my them. goodness i hold certainly on. don't do that hold on i just want to say it's been nice to honor and have this uh, open and honest dialogue with uh with a traveler a free spirit a renegade a uh, iconoclast James Donald Forbes McCann, America's newest resident 
and we're grateful to have him. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me on. I'll pray for you both discreetly he's, alone in my room later on. He's the newest part of America. He's been here two and a half months. You think that nobody else has gotten in since then? I don't then? know if you know what's happening at the border right now, but you've got lots of beautiful new Americans. We're buying and, a giant stop sign for the southern border. and it's like, stop. You're going to ask him, please stop. <laughs> yeah. And then underneath it says, collaborate and listen. Well, the issue is we keep putting stop up there and they can't. They don't speak English. Yeah, it should they say alto. alto, which means tall, alto. which is weird. Mm-hmm. It's a Secession. complex culture. <laughs> and you're just another thread in the rich tapestry that is America. I saw what a seatbelt was called in Spanish on this bus because they had it there as well. What is it? It's like Centurion yeah, de belt. Safety. Yep. Mm-hmm. So nice. Centurion. Thank you for listening. Join our fucking Patreon. Join the Patreon, please. Bye.